What's going on guys? Jimmy from Searcher Systems and today is Friday so um, we're going to be bringing you guys another reflex track review. Um, there were a couple tracks released within the last week but none of them really, uh, um, I don't know, I didn't really want to review any of them. Uh, they didn't catch my eye enough to review them so I had to go back a little, a little ways. Um, but we're going to be reviewing uh, Terra SX MX Raceable uh, by MX Racer 357. Now, um, Kellen and I had played this in one of our Reflex group plays, but I decided that I wanted to review it more in depth. Um, Kellen and I both had a ton of fun racing it. Um, actually, did we do it for a Reflex group play? I'm not sure. We may have, or we may have just played it, um, just to play it when we were bored one night. Um, I think that actually may have been what happened. We were just playing Reflex one night. So, I'm going to get right into it. Um, the description said that this is a local track that he races and rides at, but he made it into more of a, uh, a Supercross track just for fun. And he said use a 250 for more of a challenge, but I'm just going to stick with the 450. Um, he also said that his fastest lap was a 101.59, so I'm going to try to beat that today. Uh, oh, whoa. A um, couple split sections or different lines that you can hit on this track. The left side right there being a double-double, and the right side is like a... I think it might be a step on, step on, step off. Uh, we'll take a look next lap. Um, but right off the bat, this track it doesn't look like there's too much to it, like decals wise. Looks really simple. The dirt looks a little weird, but um, that's alright, it doesn't bother me. Um, this track rides really, really well, I think. Um, as you guys can see, you can like hold it really wide open in the corners, which is good and is bad at the, at the same time, but, um, ooh. see, I don't know what's going to be faster there, jumping all the way over and singling out or just doubling out. Anyways, uh, this first lap, here we go. Ooh, all right, we're going to take the inside now. Uh, yeah, so it's an on, on, off, and you... Gotta hit this outside berm. I'm not really sure which one's faster, because uh, the left side, that double-double, it kind of shoots you pretty high, so uh, I think they're, for the most part, pretty even, which is good. Uh, line choice is always really, really important. Um, at least to me, I like to be able to hit different lines uh, when I need to, or when I want to. Because I like to flow around the track, so if I were to say like right there if I would have jumped any more inside I probably would have taken that or taken that inside line um, pretty much I just go with the flow on most tracks so all right so that double out seems pretty quick because you can cut to the inside like that and I already beat his lap um, and I messed this suction up too and we're gonna be blitzing out of it again I think maybe if you took the right side and cut the corner a little bit so you didn't hit the, the berm on the outside, it may be quicker. I'm not sure though. And these whoops, really easy, but um, easy whoops can be fun most times, you know, just get on top of them and rail them. Um, I never really like when whoop sections are, are the deciding factor and trying to lay down a quick lap or something like that. Um, and these arcade games, like Reflex, or Alive, or Supercross, or any of the MVA games, uh, whoops aren't that big of a deal, but when you get to more of like a simulator, like MX Simulator, um, whoops can uh, pretty much dictate the race, so. Oh boy. Let's see if we can not botch this section, and we do anyways. We're going to go inside again. On, on, off. 
Yeah, I think that actually might be a little bit quicker, honestly. Um, as you guys can tell, this track isn't too hard. Um, it's just cool. Uh, you know, sometimes we get on a game and we just want to have fun with a track, and I think that this is one of the tracks that you can do that with. Um, very easy to get the lines down. Um, not too difficult to hit. See, that inside's kind of tough, but uh, still able to hit it. I really like this section. It opens up, so... Oh, man. I didn't even want to jump all the way over. I'll hit that line for you guys next time, just so you guys can kind of see... Normally I would jump over the uh, that tabletop and triple out, but I've messed it up too many times, so on off uh, double. Oh no, we're casing the triple. That triple is actually pretty difficult. You need to get a somewhat decent of a run to uh, clear it, so. And like I said before, you can pretty much just keep it pinned through the corners. Um, I haven't let off the throttle since that triple, that super cross triple. But that's how reflex is pretty much, you know. Oh, there we go. So there's that jump and I cut it too far inside and destroyed the tire. Um, but like I was saying, that's pretty much how reflex is though. Uh, you you just keep the gas on because you can tap the brake and stop for a corner right? uh, pretty much anywhere so actually I don't know that was pretty quick that I just hit so if you stay low enough then maybe that side's faster oh that's the fast line I don't know what line's quicker here. The inside may be quicker, but I just like reeling the tops of those berms. They they hold you really well, so. Derpy little scrub right there. And we bettered the lap time on the last lap. So 1 minute point six nine. Um, that's almost a second quicker than what he had posted. I'm sure there's quicker lap times. This track is pretty old. I had to scroll down Reflex Central quite a bit. So um, overall, I think this track is great. Fun Factor, 10 out of 10. Uh, raceability, 10 out of 10. Um, you know, Berms, 10 out of 10. Jump Faces, 10 out of 10. Jump Landings, 10 out of 10. Overall, 10 out of 10. I um, have played this track with other people. Very fun. Um, I will continue it, continue to play with other people on the track. Um, like I said about the jump faces and jump landings, the transitions were really, really good. Um, a lot of the tracks that I have played, uh, the, the jump landings are kind of... They don't flow, um, but he did a really good job with the uh, the transitions of both the takeoffs and the landing. So, props to MX Racer 357. This track is really, really fun, and um, I think you guys should try it out if you haven't. I'm assuming you guys have because, like I said, it's pretty old, um, pretty far down on the list. But if you have not, I will leave a link in the description of the track. And um, I will see you guys next week for the Reflex Track Review. Subscribe to the channel, comment on the video, and um, like the video. I will see you guys next week. See ya.